Welcome to another video in the Acontis EtherCAT Master Tutorial Video Series. In this video, we will walk you through how to set up an EtherCAT Master in Windows using Acontis's EC Master software. This will involve installing an evaluation version of EC Master, creating the EtherCAT configuration with EC Engineer, running the included EtherCAT Master example application, and connecting EC Engineer remotely via TCP to the master. To get started, we will first connect the slave devices directly to the computer where we will install and run EC Master. To install EC Master, open or extract the delivery and run the Windows installer file. Click through the installer windows, and by default, EC Master will be installed in program files, but you can also copy the installation folder to another directory to work with it. In order to access the Ethernet network controller, you will need to install WinPCAP, NPCAP, or Acontis's own NDIS driver. Here we will use the Acontis NDIS driver and install that as well. After the installer finishes, open a command prompt and change to the binaries folder where EC Master is installed. Run the pre-built example application EC Master Demo, specifying a static IP address assigned to the network adapter connected to the slave devices. The example application will scan the network and automatically set the found devices to the pre-operational state. In this state, it is also possible to communicate with the devices via mailbox protocols like COE. At this point, EC Master has been successfully installed and connection to the slave devices has been established. To get the network into operational state, an ENI file is required, and we will use EC Engineer to create one. Now we will switch the network connection so that a computer running EC Engineer is connected directly to the slave devices. This could be the same computer that was running EC Master, or it could be an entirely different system. For a refresher and advanced configuration possibilities with EC Engineer, please be sure to check out our EC Engineer tutorial video playlist. After starting EC Engineer, open the ESI Manager and add any ESI files for the devices that you will be configuring in your network. Once that is completed, select Online Configuration from the Start page as this matches our setup with the slave devices connected directly to our computer. Select the master unit for your implementation. We will use a Class A featured master here. The next step is to select the appropriate network adapter that is used for the connection to the EtherCAT devices, along with the cycle time and what state the devices should be automatically set to. When everything is set, click the Select button to connect to the network. EC Engineer will scan the network and populate the devices found and match them up with the correct ESI file in the database. For our purposes, we will create a simple configuration without changing anything from the defaults, so now we can export the ENI file for use with EC Master Leader. As a test of the configuration, switch to Diagnosis mode to run the included EtherCAT Master inside of EC Engineer. Check that the network is in operational state and functioning properly. Now we can close EC Engineer and switch to EC Master and the included example application. This could be the same computer that was running EC Engineer, or it could be an entirely different system. Just make sure that now the EtherCAT devices are connected to the system that will run EC Master and the ENI file we created in EC Engineer is available on this system. Run the pre-built example application EC Master Demo with the ENI file we created from EC Engineer earlier and some basic command line arguments. The full list of available command line arguments and their explanation is in the EC Master documentation linked below in the description. From the console output, confirm the slaves were successfully found and set to operational state. It is also possible to connect EC Engineer remotely via TCP to the system running EC Master 
which can be very helpful to test and diagnose the master system during development. As mentioned, EC Engineer and EC Master can run on different computers connected via TCP, or they can run on the same computer with EC Engineer connected via a loopback. This time, start EC Master and add in the command line argument to start the included TCP server. Once EC Master is up and running, start EC Engineer and select Remote Diagnosis Mode. Choose the RAS protocol and specify the IP address of the master system on the local area network. Or if running EC Engineer and EC Master on the same system, specify the local host IP address. Click the select button to connect to the network. EC Engineer scans the Ethercat network that is connected to EC Master remotely and provides a convenient user interface for monitoring and testing the network. As an example, you can select a slave device and monitor input variables. For more capabilities of EC Engineer, check out our other videos in our EC Engineer tutorial playlist, as well as in our documentation, with links to both below in the description. Thanks for watching and hopefully this tutorial video helps you get started with building an EtherCAT master for Windows with the Acontis EC Master software. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or you can contact us on our website.